Saskatchewan Centre for Patient-Oriented Research, Patient-Oriented Research Learning Health System Project, Expression of Interest Guide Video. Thinking about submitting an expression of interest? Well, here is what you'll need. An application, an application guide, a device to complete your application, and a research idea that aligns with the project priority area. At this point, you only need one person to be the principal investigator, but you can have up to three other people join you in submitting your expression of interest for a total of four co-principal investigators. Who can be a co-principal investigator? Patient partner. This could be the patient themselves, a family member, other informal caregiver, or a community member. Clinician or healthcare provider. This could be a doctor or a nurse, a psychologist, a pharmacist, or anyone working in healthcare. Decision maker. This could be educators, elected officials, band council members, or healthcare administrators. Researcher. Remember, you only need one person to submit your expression of interest. If you think you might be interested in being a co-principal investigator, there are a few things to consider. First, co-principal investigators will have increased responsibilities. Second, the project requires a two-year commitment. Third, all co-principal investigators must primarily reside and or work in Saskatchewan. And finally, if you're successful, the project will be a team effort, even if you submit an expression of interest independently. As a co-principal investigator, you will share leadership responsibilities with the other co-principal investigators. Together, the co-principal investigators will keep the project on track and ensure that the necessary reporting takes place, manage the administrative and financial responsibility associated with the $10,000 of financial support, be the primary contact for Skipper, and facilitate team meetings and ensure training and project targets are met. Important things to know when submitting an expression of interest. You do not need to have all your team members and or stakeholders identified at the expression of interest stage, but you should have an idea of how you will engage with patient partners and other stakeholders. The expression of interest is step one of five in the selection process. And you do not need to have every detail developed to be successful, just as long as you're on the right track and your idea aligns with the priority area. Important things to know when submitting an expression of interest. You can apply for up to $3,000 funding through SPEEDA to assist with engaging patient partners and other stakeholders in the application development process. SPEEDA stands for Stakeholder and Patient Engagement Application Development Award. Skipper will also provide support from a patient engagement specialist at this stage. Expense considerations. Two successful project teams will each receive $10,000 to cover expenses over the two-year project. This is in addition to any funding they've already received, like SPEEDA. Certain elements will impact your budget and should be considered when planning. Examples include Honoraria. This is used for engaging traditional knowledge keepers or elders and patient partners. Meeting costs. This is used for travel and food per diems room rental costs and parking expenses. And technology. This is used for stakeholders from rural and remote areas who may need technology provided and or travel covered. For more details, see Skipper's Patient Oriented Research Learning Health System Application Guide or visit skipper.ca slash LHS.